Good afternoon and welcome back to another video. How are we all doing? All good, I hope. Super exciting day today. I was literally just about to go out for a ride and I've just had a phone call from a delivery company saying that my new bike is just about to be delivered. So I'm gonna cut this ride short. We're gonna head back. Let's go check out my new bike. So I've just got back and taken delivery of the new bike and here it is. So inside this box is the Engine Pro. It's made by a company called Engway. This is a pedal assisted electric folding e-bike. So let's not mess around, let's get the box open and let's see what's inside. As you can see inside those boxes with all the components that we need to build the bike it's really nice that this actually comes with its own toolkit as well so you're not really going to need to go out and get anything everything to assemble the bike is already here obviously you've got your pedals your charger and i'm guessing these are for the handlebars so i'm guessing the battery's inside so probably the best thing to do now is to get all this packaging off get the battery on charge and then we'll start getting this bike put together There we are, that's the bike completely built. Took me about 20 minutes to build it, so not long at all. It's really, really simple. I'll be honest, I didn't even look at the instructions. It's very simple to see how it all goes together. If you are unsure of how to put it together, it does come with a full set of instructions as well. The first impressions of the bike, I am blown away by the quality of this. I really didn't know what to expect, but I've got to say, putting the bike together, you get a feel for what the bike's gonna be like. And I can say that all the parts are really high quality. And there's some unbelievable features that I've already seen just without riding this thing that I'm really impressed by. First of all, it's got front and rear suspension. Now this is a massive quality to have in an e-bike. Not only these great features, but they're also adjustable. So you can actually lock the suspension if you wish. And it is also fully adjustable as well. So you can get the rebound just as you want it. Rear suspension again, looks absolutely brilliant. I'm super excited to get out and try this thing. Another awesome little feature is the rack on the back. Now, now you see most racks on bike, they're very flimsy. This thing looks unbelievable. And it's actually says in here, it can take up to 25 kilograms unreal it's really really sturdy really really good quality and it's got some great little details like the name you can see there paint quality the finish on the bike looks unreal as well really really impressed with that the seat feels unreal really really nice really smooth looks super comfy and moving on to the gearing it's got eight gears on this bike which is a massive advantage yet again but not only that it's made by shimano as well so you know it's going to be really really good quality and you can't deny one of the standout features on this bike are the tires absolutely massive 20 inch fat tires this is going to be perfect for any sort of on-road and a little bit of off-road as well brakes look really really good they're hydraulic disc brakes as well i see this thing isn't a particularly slow bike so you are going to need to stop it so having hydraulic disc brakes on it is going to be a huge advantage obviously it comes with front and rear lights as well so here it is the engine engway pro in all its glory all made up and ready to ride so this is the first decent day i've managed to get out and get a bit of filming done so i've had the bike made for about a week now i've been out in the evenings just a couple of times just to get used to it just to get a feel of what the bike's like so i can give you guys an honest review we are going to be taking the bike out in this video and i'll go through all the features and all the settings on the bike to give you a really good understanding but I've got to say, first impressions, massively blown away. Two of the most important things for an e-bike are the battery and the motor. Both of these so far seem to be fantastic. One thing I really love about the Engway Engine Pro is the fact that the battery is all built inside this framework. It's not open to the elements, it's not going to get caked in mud every time you go out riding. It's nice and secure, hidden away, and just gives the bike a really sleek look. And then moving on to the motor, again it's in the rear hub, 750 watt. It's all built in, it's very well disguised, it's completely encased, again so it's not open to any elements. 
you're not going to get any muck, any dirt, any grit in there. So hopefully that's really going to help with the longevity of the bike. Anyway, that's enough talk here. Let's take this thing out for a ride because there's a ton of cool features that I can't wait to show you. It's got to be one of the bougiest e-bikes on the market right now. Let's go. Okay, so off we go. First of all, just want to address the elephant in the room. Yes, I am wearing a balaclava. No, I'm not going out to rob old ladies. It is still winter in the UK. It is still freezing. I think at the moment it's about three degrees out. So I thought the full face helmet might just be a little bit extreme for this. So woolly hat, balaclava, sunglasses, sweet. So first impressions on the Engway Engine Pro. Super comfortable. Full suspension works perfectly on this bike. I'd have no hesitation on taking this on a, you know, 10, 15, 20 mile bike ride. You're going to be really comfortable. The seat is just perfectly cushioned and everything just feels right. Everything feels comfortable. Definitely no complaints there whatsoever. I see the biggest thing we want to all know about is how fast does it go? And how long does the battery last? So I'll run through all the settings in a second for you. So the battery is a 48 volt, 16 amp hour battery, which basically in layman's terms means it's got a decent amount of hope to it. Now 16 amp hour in the e-bike world is not going to do an awful lot. But when you marry that up with the pedal assist, this bike can just go and go and go. I think the battery life on it is going to be incredible. It comes with a three amp charger, which basically means from a completely flat battery to 100%, it's going to take just over five hours. Now I've been riding this in the evenings for two, three miles every night in the dark, and I've not yet had to charge the battery. When you compare it to my Suron, it's just night and day. This thing just lasts forever. So Engway are boasting that this bike will do around 60 kilometers on the thumb throttle alone. So that's about 37 miles, which is really impressive just on the thumb throttle. The pedal assist, they're saying they're gonna do about 120 kilometers. It's about 74 miles, it's, it's just insane. It does also have regen, so at the moment I'm not pedaling. I am going downhill. So all it's doing is just regenerating this energy back into the battery. So the motor is a 750 watt hub mounted motor. And I've got to say, it's powerful. It's really powerful. I come from the world of Suron and the high powered electric e-bike. So jumping onto a pedal assisted folding e-bike, I just thought there's not going to be much about it, but I couldn't be more wrong. So it's 750 watt, but it'll actually peak around a thousand. I've had actually just over a thousand. So when you're looking at buying a pedal assisted e-bike like this, you're definitely getting your bang for buck on this one. So amongst all these cool features, obviously you've got your standard stuff, you've got your horn. Yeah, it makes a noise. So without running through every single level or every single setting, I'll just quickly gloss over each mode and what the levels do. So at the moment we'll sit into Eco. You can see on the screen there, we've got Eco, this is on zero. This gives me absolutely no pedal assist at all. Now, if you were to run out of battery, it's not an issue. You've still got this, it is a pedal bike although it being assisted. Would you want to ride this bike without the assist? It is quite difficult. The big tires, the gearing, the weight of it, it's not the easiest bike in the world. But that being said, it's definitely manageable. So we'll now set this from Eco, we'll go up into one. So I now have a small amount of assist. It's much easier to pedal. All I have to do is keep my legs moving. It doesn't matter how hard I pedal or how slowly I pedal, it's giving me the same output. And my top speed, will always be around sort of five mile an hour. Crank it up into level two, building up a bit more. Again, doesn't matter how hard I pedal, I'm still getting the same amount of assist. And this is gonna get me around eight and a half to nine mile an hour. Crank it up into level three, again, even more. Now the lovely thing with the bike as well, it does come with eight manual gears. These are needed, obviously the faster you get, you don't want your legs going around like a hamster wheel as fast as they possibly can. So you can just flick through the gears just to make it a little bit more comfortable. So as you can see, level three is giving me around sort of 12 mile an hour. Push it up into level four. This is gonna give me somewhere around sort of 15 mile an hour. Let's up it to level five. This is gonna give us around 20 to 23 mile an hour. The difference between the eco, the normal and the sport mode it's all based around the torque, so it's how fast you're going to get up to those speeds. Now to start with, when I started riding the bike, I was like, I, I can't really see the point in having this eco, normal and sport. Because if you want to go slow, you put it in one. If you want to go fast, you put it in five. But the more I've ridden this bike, I can actually see that these would be really helpful. Because if you're out riding with someone that doesn't have an e-bike or a child that's not particularly fast, the last thing you want to do is be shooting off straight up to 20 mile an hour and just leaving them behind in the dust. Also in built up areas, you're not gonna be wanting to absolutely floor it up to 15 mile an hour 
you may need to get there gradually. And also the price you're paying for this bike, which we'll move on to later in the video. You want all these options. I want to be able to go a little bit faster or a little bit slower. I want to have the choice. So what I thought was gonna actually gonna be a negative of the bike is actually a massive positive. So well done anyway. The next lovely feature is this bike also comes with a thumb throttle and it is exactly what it says on the tin. Put your thumb down, it propels the bike. No pedaling needed whatsoever. Again, a great feature of the bike. So let's move on to the bougie parts. So the Engway Engine Pro actually comes with cruise control. So all I need to do is keep the thumb throttle down for about five or six seconds. As soon as I let go, that will then engage cruise control. No pedaling, no thumb, we're off. That's a pretty cool feature, you've got to admit. And then as soon as I touch the brakes, it disengages the cruise control and then I'll eventually just come down to a stop. But yeah, what an awesome feature for an e-bike. I think what I really love about Engway and this bike is Engway have just thought about it. They've obviously sat down, listened to what people want and just ticked everything off. Okay, we want an electric bike, perfect, yeah, tick. We want it to be fast, no problems, we'll put a 750 watt motor in, tick. We want decent range on it. Yeah, no worries. We'll put a big enough battery in. Tick. We want it to be really comfortable. Yeah, no problem. Front and rear suspension. Yeah, it's got to be good on the road, but it's also got to be able to go off-road slightly as well. No problem. We'll put big chunky 20-inch tyres on it. Yeah, but we need to cater for everyone, not just people that have got a garage and places to store this. No worries. We'll make it fold in. Tick. We need some really cool features, though, to have a bit of a USP. Yeah, no worries. We'll put cruise control on it. We've also got adaptive headlights. We don't have to worry when it gets dark and riding at night. It's all equipped and they come on when it gets dark. Yeah, we need to think about safety though. No worries, well the rear light will just turn into a brake light as well. Yeah, that's all great, but also it needs to be really practical. You need to be able to carry stuff on it. Yeah, no worries, we'll put a bike rack on the back that can carry 25 kilograms. It's kind of like, they've just listened and ticked every box, even just down to the paintwork and the finish on the frame. It's just nice, it's everything about it. Leather grips that are slightly curved just to support your wrist when you're riding. It's just these little touches that make the massive differences. So yeah, massive shout to Engway. I think you've absolutely nailed it with this. Like I said earlier, I come from the world of Surons and fast electric bikes, but I can still step onto one of these and appreciate it. So for the grand finale and what this bike is all about, is the foldability of it. This bike is going to be absolutely perfect if you haven't got a lot of storage or you are going to be putting this in the boot of a car, taking it on the train, anything like that. This bike is going to be absolutely perfect for you. So I'll just quickly run through now how it all folds up. I haven't actually tried this yet. This is going to be the first time on camera. So you're going to see how easy this is to do. So there's only two main levers you need to take into consideration. The first one is just on the framework here. Push the lever in and then pull back exactly the same on the handlebars. Handlebars will then fold down nice and neatly, and then I should just be able to fold the bike in half. Job done. As easy as that. You can get it nice and tight. You can see there, that would easily go into a boot of a car. You could easily pop that onto the train, or in your garage, put it up high out the way. And like I was saying earlier, anyway, I'm really thought of everything, even just down to the pedals here. Just to give you that extra little bit more. You can actually fold these pedals completely in. It's going to give you just that little bit more. There we are. So I'm going to finish the video here then, guys. The final thoughts on the bike. Super comfortable, very fast, very, very practical. Every component on here has been really well thought about. And not only has it been well thought about, but they've also used really quality parts. So I just want to say a massive thank you to Engway for sending me the Engine Pro to test and review. If you like the look of the bike, I'll leave a link in the description of where you can get yourself one. But yeah, thank you so much, Engway, and thank you guys for watching. You can do me a massive favour and go and hit that thumbs up button. If you haven't done already, go ahead and subscribe to the channel too. Cheers, guys, and I'll see you in the next one. Take it easy.